So I want to say something about that myself. No, no, no. Let me finish. Jordy Shaw, there's a lot of drinking, food fights, partying, arguments, just general family fun. So I met Nathan on, on an app from the beginning. There was like an instant connection. The first time that I met him was as a surprise on the show. It's not exactly the most glamorous of places to meet someone that you potentially want to be father of your children. It's a very strange first date. The start of the relationship, it was very passionate, but then when I got out of Geordie Shaw, it kind of changed a little bit. I felt like he was using me a little bit for social gain. I think if you meet someone who isn't in the limelight, you are going to have them worries. Forever? Forever. Hi. Hi. This is weird, isn't it? This is very weird. I need a nervous poo, and if I don't poo, it's going to come out my mouth, and I'm going to projectile vomit. But I haven't <laughs> seen you in a year. You look well, though. Thank you, you too. I do actually wonder, if it wasn't for Geordie Shaw, would he have even been talking to me? Did you want me or to be on TV? That's a good question. Do you think if we didn't, like, the first time ever meet on TV, it would have been different? I do. I think so. I think I would have trusted you a lot more. Yeah, it was very weird, you know, because it's like all the cameras are on you. I want you for you and not like for that stupid television program. Okay. I know I'm insecure with guys wanting to get with me for fame. The more Tommy's talking, the more I actually believe him. Maybe he's actually telling the truth and I need to calm the hell down. Okay. Are you ready? <sighs> yes. Why did fame always come before us? Before me and you, I was in a four year relationship where I put my relationship before everything. Mm -hmm. And that stopped me from doing so much work and progressing. And once I ended that relationship, I became very career focused. But then you still, you can have normal communication. Sometimes 48 hours yeah. without any response. Yeah. But you post a lot of things on your Insta story. Wait, so I want to say something about that myself. No, no, no. Let me finish. This is the exact behaviour that put me off him. Because once he gets a bee in his bonnet, he won't listen. And not like one story. A few, yeah, I know. A few, like sometimes 15 to 20. I should have put you a lot more in the foreground or at least kept you in the loop of what I was doing. Actually, I'm really sorry for that. I've been on the receiving end since that, like, karma got me back. What kind of karma? I got ghosted several times by several people. And how many times you get ghosts? About yeah. Seven times. What? That's, I mean. That's why I'm still single. That's a lot, seven. Thank you, yeah, it's a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very much. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Could we have worked out? For me, we could have, but obviously the event that happened in London and what happened with Charlotte and stuff, I feel like that did put a downward, like, spiral on things. You tried to set me up with that YouTube right in front of him, so you kicked off. <laughs> and you even introduced this, so you went, this is Tommy, I've seen, seen him. him. And I went, can you come and speak to my friend? <laughs> and I can remember Tommy was really angry. Angry, that's why I had to leave the event. She found another boy for Nathan with one million followers, and I with my 20K followers are not enough for him. What she did was wrong, and I get that. She should never done that in front of you and stuff. But the way you handled the situation, it kind of got my back up a little bit. I asked you what you were doing. Oh, no, she was talking about work. She wanted to talk with me. Well, just because I'm not going to say that straight away. Oh, she's just trying to introduce me to someone else. I'm getting a little bit upset right now. That situation, like, yes, it was shit, mm -hmm. but I wasn't bothered by it, and it was the fact that you couldn't let it go, and then it, it continued in the next week. It moved from being you and an apology to you screaming on the phone at me for like 45 minutes. Oh, no, you're was, making you, a bit Tommy, of this. You wouldn't let me get a word in Edris, and that is the truth. Clearly, I left quite a sour taste in Tommy's mouth. I could have handled the situation a lot better. It was just easier to ignore you and pretend it didn't happen, and then just, like, let it fizzle out kind of thing. This feels really awkward. I am sorry, because it was very childish. That's OK. Thank you. Let me see the damage of today. Should we tell 
What, what is this? So tash and on is a Georgie word for like necking on, basically getting back together. Okay. I just don't think that is appropriate right now. Yeah. I, I want to be your friend. Yeah. Why not? I think this meal was very good for us. He spoke about his feelings, he apologised. If you do message me, I don't message straight back. Please don't I get mad. Know. But I will try and respond at some point. <laughs> Tommy's probably going to text me as soon as he leaves the restaurant, and if he does, he's going to get left on bread for at least two months. It was nice to see you, though. Yeah, nice to see you, too. Bye. Hopefully, we're going to be good friends with normal communications, and I wish him all the luck in the world with dating. I think now my karma slate is very clean. I think I'm ready to start talking to people. And if I do get ghosted, I need to realize that maybe it's me that's the problem and not someone else.